Hello everyone, welcome to Bit One Grade. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to introduce you how to retrieve recent trade list from uh, Binance uh, Future Smart. Okay, so uh, we are going to use uh, Python, and then we are going to start with uh, importing a uh, request library here. Okay, so we start with the import request, then and uh, I'm going to define uh, what uh, symbol is. So and I'm going to use a uh, IMX USDT. Okay, this is a uh, one of the uh, uh, ticker in the finance futures market and uh, I also have to define URL which is the, uh, the the address that I'm going to use to uh, request data from finance futures market okay. so uh, this is the uh, this is the point uh, uh, this is the uh, So uh, you start with uh, this ad address, okay, here. Then you need to add the symbol, which is the uh, IMX USDT. Uh, so this is the example. So you can, if you want to check the uh, Bitcoin BTC USDT, then you you input BTC USDT. And I'm going to put uh end limit plus uh equal sign here. Okay, so uh, this uh this part uh defines uh how many data points I'm going to uh request from Binance Futures uh server. Okay, so if you put I in this example I put ten. If you put a uh, hundred, uh Binance will give you hundred uh recent trade list. And uh, here I, I have uh, another uh, thing called uh, data, which is defined to be the result from a request uh, request from uh, to uh, Binance Futures Server. Okay, so, so here uh, data is defined as request dot get uh, uh, parenthesis URL dot JSON parenthesis. Okay, so. Uh, Let's uh let's execute uh, this code. Okay. okay. So I execute this part, and uh, I'm going to print uh what data is. Okay. So okay. So uh, finance uh future server uh they gave me a list of uh. Ten uh most recent trade list of uh, IMAX USDT. Okay. So uh if you look at this uh there are some items uh like ID trade ID and the price okay and quantity and quote uh quantity and time and time is in uh Unix time okay and uh is buyer market uh true this means the uh uh the execution is done by the uh uh buyer okay and uh if you if you want the uh, just just the most the most uh, recent uh trade data point then you should put a uh, minus one after data this will give you the last uh this will give you the most recent uh, one okay. 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 
So if you execute this part, the, the last one, uh, data in parentheses on negative one, okay, this will give you the most recent uh, trade list. Okay. So let's check uh, whether this is uh, in line with uh, what you see from Finance Futures uh, website. Okay. So, okay. I'm going to use IMAX USDT. Okay. So we need to take a look at uh, this part. Okay. This is the uh, this is the section that gives you a uh, recent uh, trade list. Okay, from the website. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna execute this. Okay, so uh, this should be uh two hundred sixty-two. Okay, and you can see two hundred sixty-two. Okay. Uh, I I'm using IMAX uh USDT because uh this is uh rather uh not liquid uh ticker, so uh it's easy to check. Uh, if you look at the BTC USDT. There's uh, so many uh, trades, so it's kind of hard to check. Uh, uh, things change like instantly uh, too many times there. But uh, so uh, I use the IMAX USDT because uh, it is a rather uh, illiquid uh, asset at this point, so it is easy to check. So, okay. So in this video, uh, we covered uh, how to check the recent uh, trade list uh, using Python and request a library. Uh, from uh, finance futures market. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I will come back with uh, uh, new videos. Thank you.